Hey everyone, this is going to be a what I got for Christmas video and I'm so sorry that it's so incredibly late. It's almost Valentine's Day and I'm loading up this video but I haven't had a chance to film it for you yet and I did want to share with you all what I got because I usually don't really receive many items. My family usually focuses on the food and we just eat a lot and spend quality time together and we did that this year as well but um, I got quite a few presents for me I thought so I thought I might as well share them with you and but or late than never. So the first thing that I received was a travelo, and I'm sure that if you've, you've been watching YouTube videos, you know what this is. It's just a portable perfume sprayer, spray container. So this is what it looks like. And then over here, you can see the amount of perfume in it. And I have the pink one. There are a lot of pretty colors available. And then what you do is you put this on the top of an unscrewed perfume bottle and then you just pump it. And then you can see as it fills up, it fills up with perfume. And it's called a Travelo because you can travel with it. And in 2011, last year, um, I traveled a lot by airplane and I couldn't ever take my favorite perfume because um, it was the standard size, I believe 3.5 ounces or 3 fluid ounces, but I was afraid they were going to take it away because I've heard of them taking away big perfume bottles even if they are the designated um, liquid amounts, so I just didn't want to chance it. And now I can take it everywhere with me because I have this, so I was really excited to get that. Uh, the next thing that I got was this Joy Stick It. And it is from ThinkGeek.com. Um, so what you do with this is you put it on your iPad or your tablet that you have. And you can play games with it that requires a joystick. So it's really cool. My brother got this for me. And then if you don't know what ThinkGeek.com is, it's a really cool website that has like geeky or tech kind of stuff on it with funny shirts, funny gadgets and stuff. So that was really nice. I really like that. And then I also received these silicone keyboard cover skins. And uh, this is a teal aqua. It's coming out more blue on a uh, screen. It's actually a little bit more greenish teal colored. But I got this one and then I also got a clear one. And there are all kinds of combinations of silicone covers. If you're interested, you can get ones that are all colored like this or just the keys themselves are going to be teal and the rest of it is clear. There are pink ones, black ones, blue ones, lavender ones. I mean, there's so many colors. So I got those to keep my keyboard nice and clean. So that was cool. And then my brother got me this movie called Coco Before Chanel. And I really like it because it has um, Audrey Tattoo in it from Amelie. And then it's also in French, which is really neat because I'm trying to learn French just because it's such a pretty language. So that is that. And then I also got this shirt from thinkgeek.com and it says 98% chimp. And um, my nickname is Monkey. That's my, that's what my family calls me. So that shirt goes along with my nickname. I also received It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. And I've been wanting to pick this up, but I just hadn't. So my dad got this for me and I was so, so excited to get this. Um, it was like one of my favorite things that I got. So yeah, I've been using this and... I really like it uh, and I was really excited to get this so I got that and then I also got beauty blender sponges there were two ones in my bathroom because I just used it but it's the infamous beauty blender sponge it's so so bright pink let me show you how bright pink it is okay so I just grabbed some things quick so you can compare the pinkness of the beauty blender sponge so this is a beauty blender sponge Next is this really hot pink blush from e.l.f. and it is called Pink Passion. There's that and I thought this was like the ultimate highlighter pink. And there's a beauty blender sponge. So this one is brighter yet. Next is this Great Lash Lots of Lashes pink and green container. And there you have that. Although this is kind of like the same color. Uh, it's a pretty good dupe, although in person this one is a little bit brighter still. But there's really, that's a really bright pink. And then this is Bedhead's TGI After Party. And this is like, whoa, fluorescent, fluorescent pink. And those are what they look like. So, yeah. All those products are just really pink. 
So next up at my work, we had a Secret Santa gift exchange. And this is what my Secret Santa gave me. It's in this really fun bag. It has like this boa on the top and then really pretty shoes and packages. So that's what the bag looks like. And then let's see what, this is really bright too. Where's the beauty blender sponge? I think the beauty blender sponge is still brighter. Okay, so the first things I got are, I wrapped these up again because I wanted to unwrap it for you guys. Um, I got these really cozy socks, and these are actually dirty because I've worn these, but I got them in pink and then this really pretty color as well. They're just stripes with neon colors and gray. They're so incredibly cozy. I love these, I live in them. They're just really cozy. So next I got some perfumes and this actually came in a package but I took them out and have used them since then. So these are imitation perfumes. They're supposed to smell like no name brand perfumes. So this is called Banbury. It's supposed to smell like a Burberry perfume. And this one is called Question and it's supposed to smell like a guest perfume. This one is fantastic and it's supposed to smell like Britney Spears fantasy perfume. And this one is Sweet Angel and it's supposed to smell like Victoria's Secret, um, I think it's um, Angel perfume. And to be honest, I have, out of all of these, I only own the real Victoria's Secret perfume. This is spot on. If I was to smell one or the other, I wouldn't know the difference. And all of these actually smell really good and I'm actually really surprised because like um, imitation perfumes have that scent to them, if you know what I mean. These smell really good. So I really like these um, and I like that they're not huge sizes because I don't really use a lot of perfumes so I like that they're kind of travel size. So there's that. Next up, I got a really pretty picture frame. It's a really pretty picture frame and I like how it's shiny and how it reflects the light and I just really like it. It's a really cute picture frame. Then I also got this really cute scarf and to be honest I would have never purchased this for myself but I really like it. Um, it's not super long and really I just like to wear this around the house when I get really cold. It's really cute and it's just so cozy. It's the same material that the socks are made from and I love it. I love this. It's just so cozy. Then I got another scarf and again I would have never gotten this for myself but I really like it. It's this orange color and it has also yarns with um, white and red and little purple in there as well. I really like it. It's really really pretty as well. And then the last thing from my Secret Santa is another really cute picture frame. It's black as well. It has some pretty woodwork carving on the edges as you can see and I like that it has three places for photos. So there's that. I also have to say that she gave me the presents wrapped in really pretty tissue paper. You can see I have green, um, blue, purple, and pink. So those are all really pretty colors. So. That's fun. And then lastly, I also received some spending money from my mom, so I went ahead and bought some pretty much basics, a um, couple tanks and t-shirts. And instead of holding them up and showing you, I'm actually going to try them on and take a picture for you so you can see them that way.
much for watching this video. Again, I'm so sorry that it's so late. Um, one last tip before I go. Um, the items that my family got me, for instance, the It's a 10 and the Beauty Blender sponges, um, they knew that I wanted those because I have an Amazon wish list. And all you have to do is sign up, like have an email address and a password and a username. And then on Amazon, you can look up products and if you want them, you add them to your wish list. It's just a little button, I believe, on the right hand side of the screen. And your friends and family members can look you up and see the list of items that you want. And so I really like that. I think it's really helpful because for my brother and my dad, for instance, I don't know what to get them a lot of times. And so if they have those lists up, I know that they want those things. And it's fun for them too because basically a guarantee that you're going to get the recipient something that they like since they themselves went through Amazon and put only things that they wanted on that list. So I just think that's really helpful. So that's a tip for you. If you're interested in setting one up, it's free to do and it's really easy. So I would suggest that you do that. Okay, thanks all so much for watching. Bye.